Good morning, my friends. I want us to believe and pray there for one of you the word of today in Jesus' mighty name. Father, thank you for the word I'm going to speak upon your people. Lord, use me as a vessel towards their life and also use them as a vessel to spread the word to others. In Jesus' name, my friend. Amen. My friend, I want you to, 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 to go straight to the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 12, verse 14. But before, chapter 13, sorry. 13 verses 4. I want to, uh, I, I want to speak of, of, of one thing here. Whom do you follow in your life? Whom do you follow when you walk in your life? I believe you are following Jesus. I believe you are following the Christ. You know? Therefore, the Bible says this way in Deuteronomy 13 verse 4. It is the Lord, your God, you must follow. And Him, you must refer. Keep His command and obey Him. Serve him and hold fast to him. Praise the name of Jesus. When you follow God, you need to put his command, the, the, the commandment of God, before you. When you follow Christ, it means that you need to abandon everything which doesn't go according to Christ. You know, when you follow someone, he's your right. When you follow someone, is your guide. Therefore, you need to follow instruction from him. You need to take instruction from him. Therefore, our God wants us to follow him. Because he has a good plan. You can't follow someone who doesn't have a good plan for you. And remember, when God created you, he had a good plan for your life. And you need only to follow him and listen to him. He will guide you. Listen to him. He will show you the way. Listen to him. He will show you your destiny. Many people follow their heart. Many people follow others. Many people, when they hear you doing this, they will follow what you are doing because they want to destroy for you. They don't follow the voice of God. My friend, it's high time. You need to follow God. You need to follow the ways of God. And how do we follow the ways of God? Is to wait on God. Is to listen to Him. Is to pray over and over. God to show you His ways. My friend, God will never leave you as you follow. It's just when you are in a car. If you are in a car, the driver guides you. And when you go with the driver, the driver tells you, Where are you alighting? You need to know where you are lighting. But the driver is the one who is taking you. Therefore, what, what do I mean here? You need to write down your vision. Therefore, leave it to God to guide you. God will show you where you need to stop. God will show you where your destination is. But leave the rest to Him. Follow Christ. Following Christ is not an easy thing. It needs dedication. It needs sacrifice. Following Christ it needs a lot in your life. My friend, in that office, keep on following Jesus. In that car you are in, keep on following Jesus. In that journey you are going, keep on following Jesus. Thank you, Jehovah, for the one. Thank you for every person who have repeated the prayer. Listen to I'm going to pray for them. Salvation. Let them follow you. And they will repeat the prayer I'm going to pray. Let them stick to you. Let them know you deeper and deeper. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. My friend, you are there. You want to born again. I want you to repeat this prayer with me. Father, I come before you. I worship you. Today, forgive me. Today, I write my name in the book of life. Remove my name in the book of darkness. I want to walk. Thank you so much for your salvation. Thank you so much for this precious day. You have brightened my, 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 my day. You have brightened my day. Thank you my day to shine once again. Thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, 
those one who have prayed that prayer, Lord, enable them to see you. Enable them to walk with you. Enable them to stand. Enable them to walk according to your will. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. 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 My friend, may the peace of God be upon you. Follow Jesus. Follow Christ. Follow him because he'll never disappoint you. In Jesus' mighty name, I say, Shalom. Shalom. Peace of God be upon you as you walk with him.